Hi all, welcome back to my system analog sessions. So in this session we are going to discuss about array manipulation methods. Array manipulation methods have three types. One is array locator methods, array ordering methods, array reduction methods. And at the end we are going to discuss index querying methods also. So what is array locator methods? Array locator methods operate on queues and unpacked arrays and the return type is a queue. Here it only works on queues and unpacked arrays and the return type is queue. Because in array locator methods we are not it will not go into return a single value. Okay. It will return multiple elements. So we need to store it. For that we need a queue. So the return type is a queue here. Okay. And the main two functions of the array locator methods are it will search an index or elements of the array and it will traverse the array in the specified order. Here we can access both the elements and index and we can traverse the array in the unspecified order. And here we have two types element locator and index locator. Element locator methods will return the elements and index locator methods only return indexes. Okay. So what is element locator? In both the methods the uh, procedure is like first it will iterate over all the elements in the array and then it is used to evaluate the expression specified with the clause okay here we will use the with clause i will tell you what is with clause okay and it will return the elements into the queue and for some methods this with clause is not as uh, mandatory it is some optional okay we will see uh, which method is uh, with clause is allowed or which method the with clause is not allowed okay first we will see what is with clause so in some cases what we want we want to access uh, elements which says satisfy some given condition or expression we can access the elements based on some conditions if the element satisfy that equation or condition we can access the element multiple elements okay basically this with clause the expression to be evaluated when iterating over the array elements can be specified using the with clause and the iterator argument can be specified with some local variable or without variable. Here in the here you can see array dot find of x with x greater than 3. This find is one method of the locator method. I will tell uh, all the methods. First for understanding we will see this. Okay. Array dot find of x. This x is a local variable. This is a with clause. Okay. This is a expression. This is local variable x. If x is greater than 3, it will return the elements. x means the values. If the array elements in array we have number of many elements right so if that element is greater than 3 it will return all the elements for example we have an array 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the elements greater than 3 that means 4 5 6 it will return 4 5 6 so that element is satisfying this equation that is meaning okay without local variable we are uh, we will use the item keyword this item is referred as a by default keyword we will use the item if we don't use the local variable okay these are all the two methods these are all the two types where we can use the with class how we can use the with class okay now we will see element locator methods here we have six methods in element locator all works on the elements only okay find find first find last unique min max for the first three methods find find first find last this with clause is mandatory. We need to use this method with the with clause only. And for the next three methods, unique min max, this is optional. We can use with clause or uh, we, we don't have to use the with clause. We will see what is find method. Find method returns all the elements satisfying the given expression. So it will find the element which satisfy the equation. And find first means it will return the first element satisfying the given equation. Here only one element will be returned and that to first element or the first element which satisfy the expression will be returned first element means it doesn't mean that the first index element okay the first element in the array which satisfy the equation when when we are iterating over the array and find last means same if it but it here it will it will return the last element that satisfy the given expression that means if it is an array it will start from here it will start from right side and it will find the last element which satisfy the equation and unique method is it will return unique elements return all the elements with the unique values here we since it is optional this with clause is optional we can use with clause or without with clause so if we use the with clause whose expression is unique that will be 
evaluated and that will be returned and min means the minimum ele element present in the array it will return the element with the minimum value or whose expression evaluates to a minimum here also it will return a single value only minimum value uh, if it is a uh, if you are not going to use the with clause so if we use the with clause if it will check the expression if it uh, if it satisfy the equation it will return the value minimum okay minimum value it will return and max also same as minimum here it will return the max value or whose expression evaluates to a maximum here this is the index locator method sorry here it is element it should be index okay index locator methods in index locator methods we have four find index find first index find last index unique index the first three methods find index find first index find last index this with clause is mandatory we have to use and the, for the last unique index this method with clause is optional okay so what is first in first index since it is a index locator methods it will return the index the function is same as element locator methods only but here it will return the index of that element find index means it returns the indices of all the elements satisfying the given expression first it will check the expression for the elements only and it will return the index of that element okay index of the element and find first index means same like how the find first method in element locator method is there like this only but it will return the index of the that first element okay returns the index of the first element satisfying the given expression and find last index same returns the index of the last element satisfying the given expression and unique index means like how it is in unique method in element locator methods unique index means it will return the indices of the unique elements it returns the indices of all the elements with a unique values or whose expression evaluates to a unique value why it is uh, again whose expression because with clause we are using if we use the with clause it will check whose expression evaluates to a unique value okay this is a index locator methods and next one is array ordering methods this array, array ordering methods are used to reorder the single dimensional arrays or queues here we are going to use single dimensional arrays or queues okay we have four methods sort r sort reverse and shuffle so this uh, for two methods sort and r sort this is optional with clause is optional and for reverse method and shuffle method this with clause is not allowed if you use this with clause with reverse and shuffle you will get the compilation error okay we should not use the with clause with reverse and shuffle method so now we will see what is sort method sort method is a and sorts the unpacked array in ascending order to it will it will um, arrange the uh, array elements in ascending order okay for the unpacked array and r sort means reverse sort that means it will arrange the elements in a descending order r sort okay and reverse method will reverse the elements so it will uh, reverse the original array okay and shuffle method will shuffle the elements that means randomize the order of the elements in the array so this is a array ordering methods and array reduction method is the last one array reduction methods the array reduction methods are used to reduce the array to a single value with the optional use of the with clause here also for some method with clause is mandatory and some methods with clause is not mandatory optional okay so what it will do the array reduction methods it will reduce the array to a single value so it will return the single value and the reduction methods can be applied on any unpacked array so this all three methods will applied on unpacked array only not for packed okay and for a with clause boolean or arithmetic reduction operation must be specified so if we are going to use the with clause we have, what we have to use boolean or arithmetic reduction operation and if the with clause is specified reduction methods return the value based on evaluating the expression for each array element that means if we use the with clause it will evaluate the expression and it will return based on that only so if the if it evaluates to a expression and it satisfy the equation it will return the that value okay if the with clause is specified reduction methods return the value based on evaluating the expression for each array element for each element it will evaluate okay so what are those array reduction methods we have five array reduction methods and or xor sum product 
So this AND or XOR are bitwise operations. We know what is bitwise, right? For each bit, it will each bitwise it will uh, check. It will perform the AND operation for each bit. Okay. If we have five elements, first element, second element, and the result will be um, check with the third element like this. For each array element, it will check this bitwise AND operation. Okay. AND method returns bitwise AND of all elements of the array. And OR it returns bitwise OR of all elements of the array. And XOR also it returns bitwise XOR of the all elements of the array. And SUM it will add all the elements. It returns the sum of all elements of the array. And PRODUCT it will multiply all the elements of the array. So it returns PRODUCT of all elements of the array. So this is array reduction methods. It will reduce the array to a single value. At the end we will get the single value. And the last one is array iterator index query. So till now what we have discussed is we can it will return either element or index right. So by using this array iterator index query we can access both the index and element. So array iterator index querying methods shall operate on both index and element. It will operate on both index and element okay. So it is not going to return I, I told that it will return both uh, index and element but it will operate on both index and element okay how we have to write I'll tell finding array element with the index so array name this is array dot find with item is equal to is equals to item dot index so this is the method so we, here we are not using the local keyword local variable we are not using we are using the item keyword okay this is a find method what we are doing item dot index this index method we have to use so this is the local without local variable item dot index so if the item is equals to the index of that item it will return the elements okay if it returns it returns the array element whose value is equal to the index value and in the next one array name dot find with item greater than item dot index if the item is greater than the index of that item the value will, uh, elements will be returned so it returns the array element whose value is greater than the index value okay this is how we can uh, index uh, query the index array array iterator index query okay by using dot index we can compare both the item both the element and the index by using the dot index method thank you